Create digital engagement on multiple channels. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to describe channels for customer support, turn questions from the web into cases, add an email service channel with the setup flow, and learn more about the digital engagement channels. Digital engagement tools with basic case management setup for your summary or so. Maria start thinking about how to collect cases from customers. She's not finished adding more of the case management tools she's discovered to complete her org service cloud setup. But she would like to peek at what's ahead. After all, there's nothing to track, route, escalate or answer until customers' cases find their way into Salesforce. Maria simply steps back from case management to log into channels. She remembers that adding multiple channels, phone, email, text, message, social media and more is the second stage of general setup process for service cloud. After a little web surfing, she learns that channels or digital engagement is a way of understanding service in our connected world. Today's customers live in an instant mobile web-driven world and expect one-to-one -one service on their channel of choice, anywhere, every time. If they can't reach you on their favorite channel, they might think less of your brand, think that you are behind the times or think that you are putting them through a service circus. To begin receiving cases to manage, Maria starts with two of the easiest, most basic channels, email and website form. Like any good admin, Maria plans things out firstly. Plan for engagement. Before Maria creates basic email and web form channels, she brings in the decision makers for guidance, Sita and Roberto. Since they are in charge of your summer Sola, she likes to include them in all Q&A planning sessions with the service team. Question: What is the maximum size of email attachments to support? Under 25 megabytes is fine. Should all green emails from Salesforce work for your Samaya Solas email service for security or compliance reasons? No outgoing emails can route through Salesforce. Does customer service use templates and if so are there branding requirements no we don't use email templates but we should in the future for consistency we should also add our logo to email templates at some point can we add a code snippet to our customer website to display a web form yes no problem do we need to create any custom case fields to capture information for the web form? No, not now. Let's see how things work out first. With some planning done, let's add two simple channels. Add email service. Maria learns that Service Cloud has two ways to turn emails into cases. One that uses a downloadable email agent to keep all email traffic within a network's firewall and one that doesn't. The email agent is used for orgs with specific security policies and attachment larger than 25 megabytes. Since neither of those conditions apply to your Samaya Sola, Maria can bypass contacting Salesforce customer support for the email agent. Instead, she heads straight to service setup. There, she follows a simple setup flow for on-demand email to case. This is how she does it. Click the setup gear icon and select service setup. Under email setup, click connect to your support email. Read the prompts to better understand the process and click start. I'm not going to do that because I don't have like any email handy for this. But so we just look at the screenshots here. Select the email provider for this exercise, choose other, so you can actually choose powered by Gmail. I guess uh, Google Apps or something, you can connect through that. Click next, and your support email address is email as it will appear to customers and the priority automatically assigned to cases creates by email. Since this is an exercise, we suggest you use an email address that's not that important to you or your company. You can see it here, the support email, the email display name, the default queue for this email, default case priority, default case origin, default task status. Click next, follow the message to open your email in another browser tab and to click the verification email sent to you by Salesforce. 
like I said, I'm not going to do this. We just look at the, sc at the screenshots here. So you basically just get send a verification link. And once that's verified, you can actually start to use it. Copy the email following link that appears. Paste the email address into your email application's appropriate email forwarding field. Select the box that confirms you have set up the email forwarding and click next. So apparently there needs to be some manual forwarding to that email and And that's how it's done unless you use the Gmail integration. After Salesforce tells that your email forwarding works, click finish. Now when customers send emails to the address provided, they automatically will choose the Salesforce as cases. For you, some may solar to start contacting with customers on the new email channel, Maria and the team must advertise the email address on websites, brochures, business cards, anywhere the customers will look for help. At web form service, one of the easiest ways service clouds can provide service is with online forms. Maria learns that she can use a web to case to create a form of case field that customers fill out and submit to support agents from a website. Web2Case can help your Mayor Solar collect up to 5,000 new cases a day. Here is how it works. Decide which case fields display on the form. Generate the HTML for the form. Send the HTML to a web developer who puts the form on a website. Here is how Maria sets it up. From service setup, enter your web2case in the quick find box and select web2case. Select enable web2case, deselect required recapture. We're not going to cover recapture here. Choose a default origin like web. Select the response template to automatically notify customers that their cases, that the case was created. Pick any template to see how this works. So the recapture verification is basically like a capture, so you prevent like spammers and stuff filing all kinds of uh, nonsense tickets. Click hide record information to prevent case information from appearing in the email sent to customers. This is the only. This is only in the unlikely event that the case fails to create. If you'd like to use an email signature, that's different than the one in the response template. Enter a new signature and click save. From the server setup, enter Web2Case HTML generator in the quick find box and then select Web2Case HTML generator. Add those case fields you want on the form. So basically you can enter the fields that you require from the customers in the web form to be filled out. Enter the URL to appear after the customer submits a case such as a thank you page. If include recapture any HTML selected, deselected, we're not going to cover recapture here. Click on generate, copy the HTML code and send it to your web developer to post on your website. Click finish. Here's the mail. So online support present is established. Customers can reach out to their service team at their convenience and create cases over the web. More digital engagement channels with email and web form channels set up. Your Mayor Solar is ready to start engaging with customers and collecting cases. But Sita and Roberto want to learn more about channels. Once Maria is finished with case management, they want to know which channels she can return to reach more customers in stage 2 of their service cloud setup. Maria looks into more digital engagement options with Service Cloud. She shares these features with Sita and Roberto. Call Center and Open CTI boost phone productivity by integrating Salesforce with third party 
Computer Telephony Integration, CTI System, C Salesforce Data for incoming calls, make outgoing calls directly from the console and report on call outcome duration and more. Self service communities help customers find answers, lock cases and update orders on their own from a web communities. Customers create and brand communities with easy to use templates, components and apps. Social customer service helps support agents listen, respond and lock cases for customers on social platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and more. Use keywords, classifiers and language detection to make sure that agents find the right post and work the right issues. Chat and embedded services. Engage with customers browsing the web with real-time live chat. Quickly embed unobtrusive chat capabilities on company websites for both desktop and mobile browsers to let customers chat with agents and deflect cases before they get locked. Snap-ins for mobile and SOS. Add service to mobile apps so that customers can get help from apps on phones and tablets. With an SDK, software development kits, developers can let customers create and manage cases, live chat with support agents, video chat and screen share with agents, SOS and view knowledge base articles on the go. Messaging. Engage with customers using messaging apps like SMS text and Facebook Messenger so that they can connect with support agents instantly from anywhere, help agents manage multiple text conversations at once and see each text alongside relevant Salesforce data. Field service, support on-site visits, out in the field with mobile solutions like job schedules, van inventory and more with or without web connections. So that's a whole lot that can be done. With a basic understanding of what's available for more channels, Sita and Roberto have some thinking to do for the future. Jose Mayor Solar is well on its way to finalizing a service cloud setup. With a few simple case management and digital engagement channels up and running, their service adventure has just begun. Other modules can help them and you move easily through service clouds, four stages of a general setup process and reduce the risk of putting any customers through a service circus. On demand email to case, accept all attachments regardless of size, convert email cases, leads and opportunities, send email traffic outside of your network's firewall, none of the above. On demand, okay, that's what else. On demand email to case was. Convert emails to cases, leads and opportunities. Leads, I don't know. I would say none of the above. I mean, leads and opportunities doesn't say anything about it. Let's have a look here in the screenshot. Just cases. It says turn it into cases, but it says nothing about leads and opportunities. Web to case. Generate HTML to send to your web developer. Let's customers submit cases to your team from a website form. That would be B. Support case fields you choose can generate up to 5,000 cases a day, all of the above. Yeah, all of the above. Questions get a bit trickier.
Communities, improved response time with live chat, helps agent lock call details, supports in-app systems on mobile devices. There's a self-service web form for your customers. That would be D. So let's see if this is all correct. You got the wrong one wrong answer. And I would say B, even though it doesn't say anything about case leads and opportunities. Okay, attachment. Maybe C. Yeah, that was correct. Okay, well, it's a tricky question. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any feedback, whether positive or negative, just type it below. And if you want to like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and you will see more videos shortly. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.